We're really excited about this class. I thought our assistant coaches did an outstanding job of evaluation and targeting the right guys. Uh, won some crucial head-to-head uh, -head battles with with some uh, some stiff competition, and so that, that was good to see. I think we did more or made more headway in that regard this year than any recruiting class ever, as far as uh, competing with uh, quote unquote heavyweights and, and uh, coming away with uh, some really good players. Uh, the the uh, primary concern, if you had to if you had to talk about two areas of need, were quarterback and linebacker. Uh, we really addressed our quarterback situation with the early signees, the, the ones that enrolled mid-year with Troy Williams and Tyler Huntley. So they're here in school uh, and, and with us working. It should be a, a great competition in spring. Uh, we were able to sign uh, a bunch of linebackers as well, which was a huge need, losing uh, three senior linebackers, Johnny, <coughs> Paul, Jared Norris, and Jason Whittingham. So, so that was uh, obviously an area of need as well. But uh, again, we're, we're uh, excited with what we were able to uh, put together as far as the class. Even though know, those two areas were, were the most needed, we felt like we helped ourselves across the board really virtually every position. And so it was, uh, you know, it appears to be a, a very good, very good group of guys that uh, will make us better as a football team. I don't know anybody that gets every kid in the state and keeps, and keeps everybody at home. But uh, we certainly feel like we came away with uh, a bunch of talent in state. And, uh, you know, that's first priority. Every year we want to make sure we, we call the state of Utah, don't miss anybody, give everybody a fair evaluation. And we felt we did that this year. We came away with uh, a bunch of good players in state. So 10 wins, we'll, we'll do, we'll do uh, the most good you know, as far as and that. That's winning. You the term winning solves everything. It certainly helps your cause in recruiting. And, uh, you know, we, we attribute a lot of our success to the way we're trending. You know, we won nine games two years ago, we won 10 games last year. I think, uh, you know, the players and the recruits understand that we're trending in the right direction, and, and a lot of those guys want to be a part of, of what's coming next. We had nine guys from California. This is pretty typical of our uh, recent uh, footprint, I guess you could say, recruiting nine from California, seven from Penn State, five from Florida. Again, Dennis Erickson doing a great job there. A couple from Washington, a couple from Hawaii. One each from Arizona and Texas, and one from Australia. You know, like our new Australian punter, from there, Mitch Wisniewski, Tom Hackett, part two. And so he's not quite the quote machine yet that Tom is, but, but I think he'll work into that. But, but he's got a stronger leg than Tom, if you, if you can believe that. He's, he's exceptional, and so we're excited about him. He's from uh, one of those junior college players that had three years of eligibility left from uh, Santa Barbara. I think it's actually eight if you count the guys. You know, our classes are a little, di little different than your, your, uh, your regular. Uh, recruiting classes that you see across the country where we have missionaries that are, that are coming, going, uh, in the process of leaving. And so uh, there was a couple of had some early signees. We had uh, two uh, JC guys in the class that were with us last fall that actually got pushed forward to this, uh, to this count, on this, on this year's count. And so we write, I think there's six uh, in just new ones, but we, we combine the two we already had. There's eight, a little heavy. That's probably a couple more than we usually have. Out of the 25 initials, we're probably about five or six JCs typically, so just a couple more than usual. But we've had good success with the JC player. We've had a, a lot of those guys, major contributors, a lot of those guys are in the NFL right now that, come, that came to us uh, via the JC route. Um, there was a couple guys that uh, we weren't certain have made their final decisions. And uh, we got surprised in a good way. There was really no bad surprises today, which is which is a good thing. And probably the most notable is uh, David Luafatasanga, the linebacker out of uh, Arizona Western. It came down to a tough call for him. He had three schools that he was looking at, and, and uh, we were fortunate to, to get his uh, NLI, and, and we're ecstatic about that. And there's a couple other guys as well that, if not today, in the last 24 hours, made their decision in, uh, in our favor, which was which is pretty positive. Lua yes. Fakasanga, yes. Can you say yes. that? There's <laughs> yeah. more A's in that last name than any last name I've ever heard of five. So if you can find a guy with more A's in his last name, we will give you some sort of prize. But anyway, David, long defender, six foot three, six foot four, uh, about 235 pounds, and uh, he is uh, exceptional, rushing the passer. He can also play inside linebacker, uh, but his real strength is coming off the edge. That, that hybrid position that we've had so much success with, Trevor Riley, Nate Orchard, Paul Kruger, Cole Bisi, you know, all those guys that have played that, 
that def that uh, uh, linebacker slash defensive end spot is is somewhere he can play as well as inside backer. And you know, you talked about the other linebackers that were recruited. Um, Devere Hamilton, I mentioned, might be a two-way guy. We'll see. Uh, we got him in the long term, thinking he's going to major at, at linebacker. And then um, we've got uh, Curtis Taufa from uh, Snow College, another JC linebacker that that uh, is, a, is a talented kid. And then a, a young freshman, Donovan Thompson, uh, another Florida guy. So those those guys really are going to bolster that group because that group is real thin after losing those uh, those seniors. They fought Troy, Coach. Uh, obviously a dynamic guy, Pac-12 experience already. Um, is there any comparisons that you can make with him? Uh, gosh, he's, uh, he is dynamic. He's a, he was coming out of high school. He was in the top three or four in the nation of dual threat uh, quarterbacks coming out that particular year. His, his, his graduating class, and uh, we think he's a tremendous talent. The numbers he put up at Santa Monica were outstanding. His win loss record there. I mean, he won a ton of games this past year, and uh, he carries himself exactly like you want a quarterback to carry himself. He's got charisma. He's got. Uh, that, uh, that air of confidence and leadership about him, and, and uh, very impressed with him. He's, he's come in here, got here in January, he's just really just taking charge with that QB receiver group and, and uh, really got things going. We've got a lot of young guys who are already in the program. We know we weren't nearly as productive as we needed to be at receiver last year. That's the bad news. The good news is there are so many of them that are still developing, and we think have high ceilings, that uh, we expect to get much better in the, you know, in the next couple of years. And so you talk about those guys combined with uh, Alec Dana from, uh, from junior college. He's a, and all junior college players aren't created equal. He's a three to play three junior college player, which is obviously more desirable than a guy with only two years left. So, so he's a guy that's got three years left. He's a big target. You know, he's 6'2", 6'3", 185 pounds, and, and uh, he's got some length. He's, he's a very long athlete. And so he's going to help us out. Um, we've got uh, Demari Simpkins, who's another one of those Florida guys who's already enrolled. He came in with uh, Tyler mid-year. A quick slot receiver, very, very similar to Britt Covey, and that's the same style of play that he has. And so you, you add those two guys, uh, plus Devere Hamilton, who's really a two-way guy. You know, he may play, play some receiver for us this year as well. To the to the group we got coming back, with Tim Patrick added to that group, who we missed sorely last year. He was a, he was a big part of what we were going to do, and, and not having his services uh, was uh, was damaging to us. So when you put it all together, we think that we can be much, much better. We have to be much, much better we see this year. There's no doubt about it. We've gotten more productive and be more of a factor for us. We can never be too good up front. We think we're going to be as good as there is in the Pac-12 on both sides of the ball at the line of scrimmage, which is a great starting point to, to, to uh, try to be a good football team. Garrett Bowles is arguably the best junior college prospect in the country coming out this year. Uh, and a lot of publications have him as number one. And uh, he is a big time uh, left tackle. He's got great feet. He's got physicality. He's smart. He's tough. And uh, that's a great gift for us. I mean, you, you hate to single anybody out because you never know, uh, you know who's going to become what. But he's a, he's a guy that we feel is going to help us immediately and, uh, in a big way. Keaton Mills, we're ecstatic about. He's, a, he's an in state kid, Corner Canyon High School. Uh, he's going to be going on a mission. And so he will not be with us this fall. Uh, Bradley and I will be with us. The defensive lineman that will be with us this fall, uh, Keaton Mills, who we obviously just mentioned. Uh, Lucky Fotu, just talked about him. Uh, uh, Fred Putu is going to be going on a mission, but his brother Howard will be coming back and join us. We signed him two years ago, so he'll be coming back and joining us this year as a defensive lineman. Pete Tonga, who was sent on a mission two years ago, he'll be coming back as well. So, so there's four or five linemen right there that will be with us this fall. Keith Bills, that's a, that's a great get for us, and, and uh, he's going to flourish in our program. We've got no doubt about that.